The Hype Podcast, episode 99.5. The Foodie Call! This week on The Hype Podcast, President Trump ditches the Correspondence Center because, well, he just doesn't feel like going. Milo Yiannopoulos is in hot water after making controversial comments about minors. Our beloved Bill Paxton passes away at 61. Plus, we give you the top three texts that women really hate. Don't miss this week's episode of The Hype Podcast. Coming to you live and uncensored, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm Oso oh Fresh with my co-host, Yet To Be Named. That's me. We talk about everything from new gadgets, gizmos, politics, movies, and music. And our very own personal stories, because you know a motherfucker has to keep it real. You're really negative today. <laughs> is there something you'd like to talk about? My is feelings? Is there something on the front of your mind? Yeah. Bill Paxton died. Yeah, I, I'm sad that Bill Paxton died. You didn't even know. You don't even know who Bill Paxton is. Yeah, I do. Who? He who was is on he? Apollo 13. And? And a shitload of other movies. Uh, Bill Paxton is one of the two people that's been killed by Aliens, Predator, and the Terminator and fucking survived. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, do you know who the other one is? Who? Lance Hendrickson. I don't even know who Lance Hendrickson is. Really? No, I don't. He plays Bishop in Aliens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or Waylon. Yeah, see, I, you know, I just, I'm not checking for Lance. What? Who's the Granny Weaver? Get out. Go. No, in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Sigourney Weaver in the movie Aliens? Only the fucking staple character. He's the lead. Yeah. Well, Jesus. I've never seen an Aliens movie. You've uh, never seen a fucking Aliens movie? Except AVP. And, no shit it's, and you, know, you know, the more you talk, the more you kind of take us off doing a show because people can't hear you. The more he talks, the more it hurts my heart. Because they, they, they can't hear you scream, Shaq. God damn it, dude. What the fuck? How have you never... Oh my god. Okay, if you have never seen an Aliens movie in your entire life, you should probably just go fucking kill yourself. Just saying. Because not only are those the best fucking movies ever in the history of ever, Bill Paxton was in there. Well, I guess I should so, be killing myself go. then. Why, you've never seen Aliens either? Not all the way through, no. Well, okay, but you've, but you've seen it. Yeah. All right. I've seen all it. Right. I mean, I know what the franchise is, yeah. All right, I forget yeah. you just this once. Just don't ever. Fucking I mean, I just, I just again. wasn't into that shit. Listen, I mean. when when we're done with the show, what I'm gonna have you do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you shut your fucking mouth over there, and, sir, I, man. and I recommend you watch the Fantastic Mr. Fox. I don't. I care. will. I will. If you fucking recommend it, I will. The but Fantastic, here's, yeah, the Fantastic what, Mr. Fox. That's what I'm into. Does it seem soft? Fuck you. It's my podcast. Here's here's what's gonna happen after the show. I don't care what you got planned. I don't know if you're making money or whatever the fuck you're doing, but. You are going to get your life together. I got to take my dog to the vet. Okay. Mid- midget's not as important as watching aliens. All right. So <laughs> here's what you're going to do. You're going to get the all of the aliens movies from me. You're going to sit the fuck down and you're going to watch them. You're going to binge watch just like you fucking binge watch Netflix. The get down or whatever the fuck with fucking Snoop Dogg's kid or whoever the <laughs> hell that is. You're going to sit down and you're going to fucking watch these movies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to listen to some fucking Tupac in the background or some Biggie or whatever the fuck you want to do, I don't care. I don't. If, do, I can't do both. No? I can't do movies and music at the same time. Oh, I thought you were going to say you can't do Tupac and Biggie at the same time. But no. you, we're, we're going to fucking well, make this happen. Well, physically, no. Well, I mean, that, that's a wide load. Pause. You know what I'm <laughs> and no, I didn't know I you were into necrophilia. That's kind of no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into that. But so... Yeah, dude. Oh, just fucking greatest movies ever. Especially, I, I can't get over that. You've never fucking seen... Oh, jeez. I, I really want to slap... If I could reach him right now, I'd fucking slap the shit out of him. What? Not you, him. I mean, the significance... He's hey, a millennial. He's, he's wearing a fucking Power Ranger t-shirt, for fuck's sake. He should know... That he should know aliens. That's all I'm going to say. That's okay. all I'm going to say. Okay. So, I guess at some point, just hit the applause so we can start the show. <laughs> Really? Wow. Yes, no, cut that shit off. Cut that shit off. Right now. Cut it off, sound man. He doesn't know how to oh, cut it off yet. fucking Christ. He doesn't know. <laughs> we are not going to start this goddamn show until you liven the fuck up. Did well, you God get a little... Damn, God you... damn, you beat a motherfucker up just for not seeing aliens. <laughs> fuck aliens. Did you see Cooley High? Fuck you. Cooley High? What the yeah. fuck is that? Oh, see? See? It's a cultural divide right there. Did, cultural really? Cultural divide really? right there. Cooley High. Guys, really? Cooley High. What, what's Cooley High about? If, since you want to make this fucking racist already, it's about, what the fuck is Cooley High? It's about some black kids in high school that like to sing. 
Wade in the water, chill. Now, oh, now, no, no, no they're not na- singing that. That's nasty. What do you mean? That's real nasty. You don't got to do that. What you said they like to I mean, sing. You, you said it. black kids in high school and they like to sing. You ain't sing I didn't that. know if you, you were talking like old Negro it's hymns. so hard. That's where that song comes from. What? Cooley High. It's oh, so okay. Hard there you to go. Say goodbye yesterday. It's you could have fucked. You could have led with that. No, I wanted to let you <laughs> sing. The, I know. I, I know wanted you to want... sing some Negro hymnals. I wanted to see if somebody was actually gonna come pick the cotton on my land while you're singing. <laughs> Shit. You don't have any cotton. No, but I do got some weeds growing. That is true. That's a lot of applause for a lame joke. Uh, hey, they they liked it more than you. That's true. No, hey, those those are the only like black people songs I know besides rap. That sucks. What? That I don't know black people music. You don't like like Earth, Wind, and Fire or anything. I well, I don't know it. Like, I know who they are. I don't know them off the top yeah, of my head. Black dudes, afros, horns. Yeah, yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Sing me an Earth, Wind, and Fire song. Uh, go ahead. Don't worry, I'll wait. I'm not very good. At there you singing. go. Oh no, we could sing "Let's Groove." Booga boogie down down along booga. You never heard that? <laughs> no, oh, no, I've Let's never heard groove that. Let's groove tonight. I've heard yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. Share a spice of light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We we should be in two different choirs and sing in two different cities because we were singing at two totally different times. You really were. That yeah, was awesome. Was, I mean, I could have I could have very well like started quoting some Michael Jackson, but that's not like real black people music. That's real black people music. Really? Yeah. We turned him white. How is that real black people music? You didn't turn him white. No, no. no I mean, uh, he it, died a fucking white man. He was born a black man and died a white man. Why you gotta get on Michael Jackson for being white? I just I mean, you just you're just real negative today. I don't understand. I'm, you wanna, I'm negative. You want to hate on Michael I'm Jackson? Ne- I'm negative. I mean, it's the I'm Michael. negative, and you guys have been. If, if they, no, they, if they can let the fucking touching kids go, you can let the white part go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, because we all let that pass when you die. <laughs> <laughs> so let the white part go. Listen, I can bitch about that. If you guys can bitch about fucking slavery, winning Oscars fucking hip-hop music you know sometimes I, I i do have to say that we we do pick uh, we bitch about a lot of shit like because the oscars yeah yeah it sucks there's no black guys nominated this year damn i mean you know but i don't see that i don't see asians and latinos fucking going to the wall for it <laughs> you never see you, you know they use the n-word just as much as you guys yeah i mean you never see oscars not yellow <laughs> Never see that shit. You know my position on this. We gave you rap music and the NBA. That's all you guys need. We gave me. Yeah. Are you Jewish? No. I'm Jews, white. Jews gave us rap music. Jews? <laughs> yeah. When who's the fucking Jew that can rap? No, besides like besides the Hebrew hammer. Like 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 Run DNC. I mean I mean They're it's, Jewish? Yeah. And and the record labels, yeah. I mean, this is no slam. I mean, this is just how it's, that's how it was done. Slam! Like, da, 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 da. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Def Jam. Uh, Def Jam was, um, created by Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin. Rick yeah. Rubin was Jewish. Was he really? Yeah. That's your hype podcast weird fact of the day. Yeah, Oso, you could trade. Oso knows a lot of Jews. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, Jerry Heller, manager of NWA, Jewish guy. Also, wow. Great Jewish. Yeah. And Willie Dickey. That's weird. Yeah. We need to get him a mic or tell him to shut up. One or the other, I, nobody can hear him. No, we're we're not we're <laughs> we're not listening. Are you familiar with the soundboard, sir? <laughs> All right, so we got it. We got it warmed up, and I gotta tell you what what they are not complaining about. This is the hype podcast. If you've tuned in and you've gotten this far, then. Get ready for a good ride. You can hit us up, 442-999-HYPE. You can fuck with us on email. How do they email us, sir? The hype podcast at gmail.com. And if you don't know, that's Oso. I'm the host with no name. And we are kicking it with you every single Sunday right here on the hype podcast. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. Send us a message or just fuck off one or the other. Yeah, if you fuck off, that's cool. Yeah. I really... I mean, I think that's a term of endearment. Fuck off. Yeah. It really, <laughs> that means you just want it's to... A, it's a little bit lower than fuck your life because fuck your life is singular. I, I mean, like. fuck off. You just want to take a little time to yourself. Yeah. Hey, hey, just be tidy. 
<laughs> yeah, clean, <laughs> clean up your mess after you fuck off afterwards. Hey, hey, man, hey, man. Sometimes that's just what, what you need to get your head straight. That's true. Yeah, and don't don't go fuck anybody else off because that's weird. I mean, you know, I don't know without, how that, without their permission. I don't I don't know how that works. You don't know how that works? Hey, you fuck somebody else off? Well, yeah. Oh, that'd be a handy. Oh, okay. Yeah, either oh, okay. either a handy or banging it out or whatever. No, the fuck. no, no. Fucking somebody off, that'd be a handy. J- just a handy? No, fucking somebody would be banging it out. Well, well yeah. Yeah, fucking somebody off, that would be a handy. I, I, I have a t-shirt that speaking, says handy on it. So speaking of, you, ever, you ever given yourself such a good handy that you just don't want to clean up afterwards? Well, you mean like you just... You just almost like pass out, like that yeah, was, yeah, yeah, like, like that was that was that was the fucking business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the internet porn was that good that you're just like, ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble and drive well, this. No, it, 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 no, I'm telling you, it gets so good, you just let the porn play out. Yeah, yeah, that's when you know you've had <laughs> the time of your life. You just let it all play out. Because <laughs> usually, you know, you stop, drop. Roll, turn the turn the shit off. Yeah, <laughs> done. <laughs> Why is she getting beat up in the background while I'm trying to do my homework? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make t-shirts and I can't have you <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> I'm done with you. This is over. <laughs> just roll over and pass out. Yeah. Don't even hit stop. Yeah. You're just sitting there. I mean, the next thing you know, you hear a knock on the door, and you're like, "Dude, I gotta get myself together." Yeah, pray to pray to God nobody has a key to your fucking house. Jesus Christ! Oh, like this, uh, like our producer here. Yeah, this he is, has a key to this, your fucking house. Yeah, because he's over here doing shit all the time. Oh Jesus! Not like pause. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but he uh, he does like music and shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now I think thank God nobody has a key to my house anymore. Well, except there's two people that do, but they don't live here. Well, I got three knock net over here. Knock knock knock. <laughs> And Pause. Talk. Give about five <laughs> seconds. I guess let's come on in. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried about your well-being. Hey. All right? If you were fucking laying dead on the floor, he wants to be able to come in here and uh, press your life alert button and make sure you don't fucking die on the seat. Well, if I'm three swipes away from letting the porn play all the way out, fuck. <laughs> 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 Just say it. Just say it. Why do they applaud every time you fucking say something? That's what I want to know. I pay the sound, man. (laughs) I wonder if Trump does that same fucking thing. He's just like, every time my finger and thumb interlock, I need applause. You know, uh, that guy's kind of getting me because he's not going to the correspondence dinner. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? The man is running a goddamn country. Yeah, but it's and I missed an I missed an I in there. Ruining a goddamn country. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you like wow. that shit? Yeah. I yeah. made that shit up just now. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Like it liked the eye and timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Why isn't he going to the correspondence dinner? Probably because everybody's, I mean, he's at, he's at war. Not feeling he's it? at war with everybody. I mean, really, it's the night that he takes shots at the president. Yeah. And the shots are fired all the time. You know, I wonder. I mean, this is like the Chicago type press. Now, I wonder, I wonder if he just doesn't need to anymore. Because at the, the last one he went to, didn't he just fucking mic drop Obama and walk and like moonwalk the fuck out of there? I don't remember what he did at the last one. I mean, he was a candidate. I don't think he was. I don't remember. Did he go to the last one? I, yeah. Because the, there was the because Obama bashed him like years and years ago, and the last yeah, one he, he said, went to, he, he said, was he was like, hey. and now I live in your house, peace. And I, I, you should have bashed him, yeah, fucker. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing. I mean, I'm not legit. Yeah, like, dude, I'm not legit. Go find your fucking birth certificate. Yeah, really. Fuck you. It's I'm probably it's probably underneath your fucking hairpiece. Show me your taxes, fool. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about birth certificates. I wonder if he ever did that too. What his taxes? Yeah. No, he never did. Never released. Yeah. Them? No, never released what taxes. A dick. Never. What a fucking asshole, dude. God, see, this is what fucking gets me. Is that they run on you know during their fucking campaigns they run on one thing and then they don't fucking do it. Oh well, fucking elected he president. Nev- he sure never ran all- on that one. No, he oh, said, he said, said, what, no, what, he what, said, I'll release them if, you know, like Hillary releases the emails or some shit. So I guess he held, no, I no, guess he held no, true no. to his word. We're waiting for his audit to be over. Oh, well, that's going to be He take couldn't release time. them during the audit. He's being audited right now. IRS says, no, you can release them. But he says, no, I'm going to wait till my audit is over. And I don't have an update on the audit. Fair enough. Dude, they need to get fucking Ben Affleck in there. You seen that movie, The Accountant? No, that I haven't heard it was good. That motherfucker is like crazy shit in that in that movie, dude. You know, I mean, if 
if he wants to borrow my copy of TurboTax, <laughs> <laughs> I got a bootleg copy. You know, Mr. I got President. a I got a bootleg off the Pirate Bay. I mean, it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. President, would you like to borrow my bootleg? I'm still copy? trying to figure out how that motherfucker's hanging out on unsecured phone, chilling, tweeting. Who, who Trump? Yeah, dude, you know damn well it's a burner phone. You what? fucking drop that shit in the street, you can't tie that to him. That motherfucker said it's a fucking Seven Eleven phone, dude. He would he'd be like fucking OJ. He'd have fingerprint on the fucking screen, and they'd be like, uh, Mr. President, this is your fingerprint. He'd be like, Absolutely not. That is fake news. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Oh, you gotta laugh. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta laugh. But you know, um, we got our boy OJ. Yeah. Uh, his uh, documentary main series just won another award last night. Like, he's, he's cleaning up, but you know where he is? Dead? No, he's, he's in Nevada. Still? Yeah. You're gonna be in Nevada. I know. Are you gonna go see him? I wonder if you can. Dude, they could make so much money letting you go see OJ. Right? Yeah, like 50 I mean, bucks a visit. That is better than making you fucking sledgehammer rocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, or make license plates. Yeah, no dude, shit. Dude, they could just put them in a little case, maybe put a desk in there. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what are you going to Nevada for, anyway? The Grand Canyon? No, we're going down there for a DJ conference. Who's we? Me and DJ LZ. What? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Get, yeah. get your Larry on. Get, get your, you, you're <laughs> about to get your Larry on, apparently. No, you know what? That guy is the biggest fucking weirdo I have ever seen, and he reminds me who Larry. Whoa! Every time. Whoa! Every whoa, fucking time. Whoa! Whoa! No, every time I watch an e- episode of Dexter, he fucking reminds me of that the fucking Cuban dude who always wears the fedoras. <laughs> oh. No, every time I post uh, something, on, I post something on no, Facebook. They, they all look alike to you, fuck. No. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. That's that's my excuse for why black people can't win an Oscar. Okay, you guys all look the same in movies. Would you stop playing fucking noises while I'm talking? What kind of shit is that? I don't know. I'm surprised I mean, you even I, heard me. I'm, what kind of shit is that? What kind? I mean, of why, why why would you say something that that ignorant? What? That they all look alike and whatever. I mean, you say Larry. This, you said the blacks. The blacks. I never once said the blacks. That's <laughs> fake news. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell them apart so they can win an Oscar, that's that's pretty rude. Dude, Denzel is the only black actor ever. That's really rough. End of sentence. Yeah, yeah. I got both of you looking over me all fucking wide-eyed like, where's yeah. he going with it? Nowhere. It's there. That's it. Denzel is it. He is the black actor. Well, Bam. What about Morgan Freeman? What about him? Well, Morgan Freeman's God, so... There you go! Morgan Freeman is fucking baby Jesus with bees. That's who, that's who he is. What about LeVar Burton? What about him? <laughs> what the fuck about... What the, about him? Reading Rainbow. Okay. Is he... He probably has AIDS by now. I, whatever. Wow. Yeah. Just saying. I don't know where this is going. I don't know either. You guys got me <laughs> off on some fucking tangent because you're over here Whoa. bitching. Whoa. You ever said Lamar Burton <laughs> probably has AIDS. That's, I yeah, don't know. You know damn well that guy's probably never gotten laid in his life. He's still doing. I don't, I don't know, bro. He's still doing fucking reading Rainbow and shit. Yeah, okay. Hang, hanging out with, what is, what is it, Mr. Rogers? Fucking doing the neighborhood shit. Yeah, Mr. Rogers. They're, they're, they're a cute couple, like fucking uh, Milo Yiannopoulos and his, his black husband. He does have a black husband. Although, you know, if Mr. Rogers and uh, <laughs> and, and his husband were fucking politically inclined, I'll bet you they could do Mr. that. <laughs> Mr. Rogers is dead. <laughs> I, shut up. I'm going with I'm going on a fucking tent. Okay. If you get fucking hot hands again and start hitting those goddamn buttons, <laughs> I'm going to fucking smack the shit out of you. Okay. No. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine. Fucking Mr. <laughs> 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 Imagine. No, imagine Mr. Rogers on a fucking presidential campaign. Yeah. How many people would vote that guy in? I'd vote for Mr. Rogers. I'd fucking vote. The, oh, man. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in America. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Let me read you a book. Boom. Vice president right there. Uh, Let yeah. me read you a story. <laughs> fucking reading rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Who would be his vice president? The, the, little, uh, the little king guy. The little king guy? Yeah, the little king puppet. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was the name of this? And every every time he comes up on the podium, he fucking changes his cardigan. Yeah, yeah, That'd be yeah. so dope. And dude, his shoes. Dude, if he put on a pair of Vans before every press conference, I'd be like, yes. Right? That's the guy. There you go. That'd be fucking dope. And then if somebody fucking takes him out, we got Mr. Reading Rainbow up there, fucking open the little story kid book and hey, just give you a press conference. What do you know? Another black president. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> got you again. <laughs> no, I, w- I would seriously, I would fucking vote those two in over like. I don't know. I mean, I'm a little older, so I might have to go for Captain Kangaroo. Eh, maybe yeah, uh, yeah Captain Kangaroo. I, I, could I mean, as, as a local favorite, I always like to throw in Rambler Rod. Dude, Ramblin' Rod was the shit, man. Him and Bob Barker. If you put... Oh, if you put Mr. Rogers and Bob Barker on a fucking ticket, I would vote oh all my fucking day. Oh, fucking God, dude. Oh, yeah. That is the epitome of fucking white privilege right there. Hell, yeah. I mean, dude, those those are some white guys black people trust. Dude, it, but, <laughs> dude maybe, you, say something bad about Bob Barker to a black person. <laughs> you like, dude, the he, fuck? He beat the shit out of Happy Gilmore, dude. He uh, fucking tuned you up. I mean, Bob Barker's been coming into, to, it was coming into my home for, what, 20 years? Always cool. Always broke up their deal. Then when you found out he was fucking the models, too. <laughs> right? That's my guy. Dude, Hugh Hefner, eat your fucking heart out. I man. mean, that's my guy. Dude, and he always had that little skinny, weird, fucking, like, what, 60s, 70s microphone that yeah. he used? He was like, fuck that. You're not giving me a new mic. Fuck that shit. No, no, I like, I like this model. I'm using the fucking wand mic. Yeah, he yeah. was out there casting spells on bitches, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, come oh, on down. Oh, follow, follow the magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> you know he used that line to bitches, too. <laughs> come on down. Yeah, You're yeah. the next contestant on this dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'd never... Ponder that intimate experience with Bob Barker. Thanks for I, I just <laughs> thanks to, for starting that off. I wanted to give you that mental vision. Because, yeah, uh, because what we're going to talk about next is going to be slightly gay and very, very, very obscure. Because Milo Yiannopoulos has been in the news again for some fucked up comments that he made, and I love I love this guy. Pause. I'm not. You know, I don't want to fucking do him or suck his dick, but I'm just saying, okay. I, I love I love <laughs> okay. when this guy fucking talks because he's an intelligent dude and he believes in free speech. Unfortunately, he doesn't just stop there. Like, if he just left that out there, like, hey, I believe people should be able to watch, do, fucking say whatever they want. Bam. Best fucking speech ever. But no, like Donald Trump, he just kind of keeps talking. That's the wrong button. Get, are you familiar with the sound? Yiannopoulos sir? has come under fire after video surfaced of the controversial figure appearing to condone sexual relationships with underage boys. Just yesterday, he was kicked off the speaker's list at the Conservative Political Action Conference. A publisher also decided to cancel the upcoming release of his book. Yiannopoulos spoke about his past comments during a news conference a little while ago. I'm certainly guilty of imprecise language, which I regret. And anyone who suggests, however, that I turn a blind eye to illegal activity or to the abuse of minors is unequivocally wrong. I'm implacably opposed to the normalization of pedophilia, and I will continue to report and speak accordingly. To repeat, I do not support child abuse. There you go. That's a good point to where you just stop fucking talking and you just let it ride. But no, no, there's plenty of times where... For this particular case, he got in fucking trouble because he thought, oh, well, I've been through this experience. I had a priest diddle me when I was a little little baby tot. I can just say whatever the fuck I want. I can make jokes about it. I can do this and that. I can, fu- you know, be all fucking flamboyant because I'm on TV. And he didn't think he was going to get any repercussions. You know, there's uh, there's the in the full and well, I've seen about 60, 70 percent of that the actual speech he made there. And he really relates back to the fact that he likes to do black comedy he likes to do say off the wall shit and get a rise and get a laugh and i think it's some shit that got out of really got out of hand on him you know i think in his in it i think it, it became honestly it feels like it just became a gimmick it really became a gimmick and it was just his way to it was his way to get famous i don't i i don't he seems like too smart a man to believe and stand for the things for that that Breitbart and all that shit wrote about. Well, he and he resigned because of those comments. He was the editor at Breitbart, and he he was one of the editors. He wasn't the editor. He was the fucking editor. There's a difference. Like Denzel, Milo is the only gay dude at Breitbart. Okay, 
Now, he fucking just says off the wall shit like you're saying, but you can't you can't scrutinize a thousand good deeds for one fucking misstep. And that, it's an age old adage. You can do a I thousand mean, good it, deeds and it, fuck up one time. What do they remember you? Well, for? Well, well, check this angle. If you really look at what he did, especially uh, listening to that last press conference and the way he explained what was going on with them, it was just a good comedy routine. Right. That's all it was. Yeah. Was sure. he fighting for freedom? Was he fighting for equality? Was he fighting for free speech? No, not really. There he, was you getting, go. he was getting good fees and he was riding this fucking gimmick. And it was, it was, <laughs> a, and it was a good fucking ride. Yeah. But then, you know, play it loose. Played it fast and loose, and then he got, you know, somebody got hurt, which happened to be him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He seems like he'd be, he'd be into that, though. Some fucking SNS. No, I mean, I mean the, the fact that his brand was growing by so much, because he'll still be able to release a book. Yeah. It'll just be on a different publisher. Dude, he, he, needed some, he needed some fucking staple controversy, dude. And this will solidify his brand. And you know what? This kind of controversy can go away. No, it was, exactly. He, I mean, he can come back and be a legitimate star. That That's how it works, dude. Because I could see Milo Yiannopoulos starring in some kind of movie about something on Netflix watch, in the next watch few him, years. Watch him get his own fucking documentary or his own show. Yeah, you know what I mean? Totally. Shit like that. Because if you, Donald Trump, for example, he fucking says off the wall random shit like this. Uh, what is it? The bathroom executive order. He fucking just said, oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and fucking do this. Oh, well, that's, did, that's racist and that's sexist. Uh, but guess what? Obama did the same shit. And you called the American people racist when they had a fucking problem with I, it. I, I, I got to tell you, I, I, I had a, a real... This thing really caught me this week because when Obama put it into effect, I said, oh, yeah, that works. That's good. But the more I kind of go on with it and I kind of live with it, it's a directive. It's not a law. Right. It's it's just a directive. It's not a law. But I don't know if I'm that good with it. Because it's kind of, you know, I think you were legislating a cultural change. Sure. And I've heard compared, compared to civil rights, but I'm like, I don't know. That's new to me. You know what I'm saying? These people, these black motherfuckers, we've been treating them like shit for years. There Having you, to, there I, you go again. But, Hey, hey, you got to bring it back up. You got to bring it back up. <laughs> but I think for a lot of people culturally, like I'm, I'm okay with it, okay with it. But it would catch me off guard or catch me by surprise if you walk in in high heels and pull out your deck. You know, sure. it's gonna, it's yeah. gonna throw me the fuck off. Dude, you, I mean, because I'm not into all the allegations about kids getting raped. I, that's not really my concern. It's just it can be, if you've always known something a certain way, it can be a bit off putting. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you and you're kind of asking for trouble because there's some good old boys that be like, "Fuck that." Sure. Yeah. Not a, not every. I don't think you can change everybody's mind overnight. Me? Hey, you can come on in. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it because yeah, it's gonna throw me off. Uh, dude, there's a flip side to that too. Okay, people that do that aren't necessarily comfortable walking into a men's bathroom because they think they're gonna run into some fucking good old boys and get tuned up yeah. and not be able to defend themselves. First of all, don't do that unless you can defend yourself. Secondly, I think, why not have an extra fucking bathroom? Have they, at, at most malls, they have a family bathroom. But you know what I ran into on that? And I, that, that was my solution up until like two days ago. Sure. It comes down to separate but equal. Separate but equal what? What e the no, fuck e I'm sorry, mean? equal equal but separate. What does it even mean? What does that mean? Explain that means that. that I can have a white fountain and I can have a black fountain. Right. Like there's two fountains there, right? Sure. But they're both equal. But they're both, they, they're just different. They're separate. Like, I, you have to go to the separate place. No. You don't have to. You have a family bathroom where fathers can take young daughters in to go to the restroom. Mothers can take young sons in to use the restroom where you can take potentially mentally handicapped children to the restroom and make it nice and comfortable. You have more accommodations, more more amenities, if you will, in the family restroom. In the family restroom. So, Because my original concept, I always thought just a single restroom, just like restroom, fucking restroom. Everybody else goes every place else. I always thought I like this. And, you know, and that's the, uh, that's the equal with separate there. It's like, you know, I thought you just go to this one, cause I've been places where they just have a one-off bathroom for like handicapped people or yeah. whatever. 
And that seems fucking yeah, cool no, to me. Yeah, nobody bitches about that. That seems cool to me. I mean, I, I live with a unisex bathroom yeah. in, my, in my house all yeah. the time. Right, right. You know, I, and I have no issue with that. It's just, you know, I mean, ladies need their lounges or whatever the fuck they got going on. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, really, if that's okay... It's just, it just seems like, it just seems like it could be off, off putting for people for a while. I mean, it just seems like a real. That, that's my point. You get the, you get the family bathroom or the neutral bathroom, if you will, give it all stalls, make them handicap size or bigger with extra amenities. I thought you just give them an individual bathroom because the, the problem is privacy. That's the big problem. It's privacy. No, the problem is you hit the nail on the head. The problem is awkwardness. People don't like the difference. Oh. People don't want a she boy. Walking into a women's restroom and deciding that he thinks that the fucking girl at the, you know, at, that walked into the end of the stall is cute and that he's going to go have his way and fucking do something. Yeah. And vice versa. They don't want to walk into the men's room and have a bunch of fucking dudes be like, oh, what the fuck? You fucking weirdo. Blah, blah, blah. They don't want that shit. And so they want to speak up and be like, oh, well, we want to be treated equal. <laughs> okay. Don't. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I actually hit his hand on that one. I won't lie. It was my fault. But no. So you fucking, you treat it exactly the way it should be treated. You give an option. And if people want to fucking bitch about it still, you tell them to eat a dick. Pause. Because some of them would. So. So do you think, you think putting that, that, that one off, I mean, in my opinion, I think putting that one off unisex bathroom in between the two. Is good enough. Sure. That's fine with me. Johnny or Janny needs to go to the bathroom. They can go in there. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I mean, don't make it a shabby fucking bathroom. I mean, make it a nice fucking yeah. bathroom. But, you know, because at some point, you really have to respect others and how they feel. Right. And some people are like, that's wrong, that's wrong, this is what I am. But... I mean, get, you have to really stop and give some people some time for some things to change. Dude, here's the fucking thing. How long How long ago was slavery abolished? And yes, I'm going back to this shit because it's the same fucking principle. Well, I've made this point before. I mean, s- s- slavery was abolished in the 1850s. The Civil Rights Act wasn't until the 1960s. It was a long, right. it was a long stretch. And, and we're still, still dealing with racism today. Still. It's still a prevalent thing because people make it prevalent. If you want to fucking go into your general gender neutral unisex bathroom, whatever the fuck you want to do, that's your business. But you know what? I will still bet money. No matter what you do, there's still going to be a group out there that's like, oh, that's not right. There's always going to be a group that says that's always, not right. There's always. You can't fucking please everybody, so tell them to fuck off. That's what you do. You make a decision, and if they don't like it, tell them to fucking suck a dick. Live their life, do whatever the fuck they want to do. And, and I, I will say this: before you make any changes to your bathroom arrangements, make sure that you got your all your handicap shit up to snuff first. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I mean, I think I think that's more of a priority. I mean, we're we're sitting here worried. That's, about, that's kind of haterish, but <laughs> just saying. We're yeah. we're sitting here worried more about dudes and dresses than we are fucking veterans that give their fucking lives for our country. Which I'm not saying they, you know, they shouldn't but be over I mean, fucking it's, killing other it, people. But it's it's America. It's the the squeaky wheel. It's always like that, right? I mean, because I right. mean, how long? I mean, because I mean, to be honest, they're, they're not a large percentage of the population. Sure, it's not like this. It's not. It's how not. Long, it's not like the it? Walking Dead, where everybody can't decide what fucking bathroom they can't go to, to go to. So there's just long lines. <laughs> how how long have people been bitching about the veteran situation? How long has that been a squeaky wheel? As and long, not, not shit's been done. As long as I've been alive. There you go. There you go. So these fucking dudes in dresses or whatever these fucking groups are, they can fucking eat a dick for all I care. Okay? You want to you wanna worry about bathrooms? Worry about some actual fucking shit that matters. But it was a big deal. I mean, the uh, over the... No, you know why... Over ra- the one in North Carolina, they totally moved the All-Star game. You know why racism was a big deal? Because people keep fucking making it a big deal. That's I, it. I, I'll just stop bringing it up and it'll go away. No. Morgan Freeman... We'll fucking tell you how it is. That guy narrates the shit out of everything. And he has the best speech about, I wish he'd do it, about this whole fucking gender neutral transition, non-binary fucking bullshit. I wish he would, because that is the best fucking speech he has ever given about racism ever. He I says, heard it. You haven't? Oh, yeah. it's fucking amazing. It was a couple years ago. He did an interview, and he said, the reason racism is still relevant is because you keep talking about it. 
And the interviewer looks at him and goes, oh, like me, you like me as a person or people. And he goes, no, you. Oh, like me personally? He says, no, I, I don't have a problem. And he goes, no, you journalists, you media entities, you, you know, all you social fucking butterflies keep making it relevant. If you just stop talking about it, it'll go away. And it will. Because like you said, people adjust over time. It takes a lot of time. But when I, when I, when I sit here and I keep going, oh, so, oh, so let's do the hype and fucking poking you and saying, oh, let's do the hype every week. Is the hype podcast ever going to fucking go away? Goddamn right. No, we're not. No, we're not going away. <laughs> right. Because people keep I, well, I, the keep, catalyst. I, I keep making the, the point that it's racism is not just going to be gone because the same guy that would the same guys with the dogs and water hoses. A lot of them are still alive. Some of them still feel the same way. I mean, some have reached a moment of enlightenment, but for the most part, that shit takes time to die. Dude, it's like it's like fucking using chopsticks in private. Okay. It's irrelevant. That generation will fucking die. Nobody you only did. you only fucking use chopsticks in front of chicks. That's the only way. You only not, do not, it. not Shaq, but not they Shaq. only do it. You only do it to I fucking think, be relevant to make Sha- a scene. Shaq was trying to impress me. Uh, we went to Mongolia. I was like, <laughs> hey, that. Was you sick. were like, man, get a fork. I was like, dude, get a fucking fork. <laughs> no, generations will pass on. All those give it give it fifty more years. Who the fuck's gonna be alive? In the, the, those eras where racism was a real fucking hey, thing, hey, you, where you couldn't walk down one side of the fucking street. Give it 50 more hey, years. How many folks are going to be alive? They wouldn't even believe it. It was like that. Exactly. Because I went and watched Hidden Figures. Yeah. You seen it? No, I haven't. I've heard a lot about it, though. There's this part in the movie where she, she works at one part of NASA, mm-hmm. but the only ladies' bathroom for colored women is like a quarter of a mile on the other side of the campus. Jesus. And every day she's running back and forth and it's just, it's just crazy shit like that. I mean, like there's this, I mean, these are NASA buildings. I'm sure there's 10, I mean, I'm sure probably two bathrooms on every fucking floor. Yeah. But the only bathroom that she can go to, I was like, sometimes we, we take it lightly that that shit was fucked up. Yeah. And don't let them catch you in the white bathroom. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the repercussions would have been at NASA. I mean, Dude, I mean, they, I'm sure there was a at some point in some time there was some canning going on or something. The, these, those are the eras that I wish we had, like female rappers like Lauren Hill or Remy Martin. Like, I wish they. Well, were, she could write her write her raps while she's walking a quarter mile to fucking take. No, 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 no. I, I, I wish, I wish we had like female rap artists just to fucking go in on that shit. But you know, uh, Remy Ma, she has, she's had a busy weekend because she dropped that new song, really, really dissing the shit out of Nicki Minaj. It was really long though. And you know, I mean, for, it was good. And but for, it was really long. and I'd say for about 75% of it, it was really good. She just at the end, she just started running out of shit. <laughs> I, want, I mean, but she, I want you to envision this. I want you to envision. Remy Martin back in like the fifties and sixties, as as she is now, rapping about fucking NASA and segregation, as opposed to just bashing Nicki Minaj and ruining her life. I don't know, you know, I don't really know how that shit like that plays because that's not really. It just doesn't seem. It, think it think about the creativity in the wordplay, though. It just doesn't seem plausible. <laughs> just Open like, your fucking mind, Oso. Get imagine if Biggie was back then. Instead of going back to Cali, he's fucking going back to NASA. He'd be singing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Space days were the worst days. You, I mean, you see Back to the Future, like, you go back and you show them some new shit, and they're just like, hey, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Your kids will like it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to write a letter to, like, Remy Martin or some like some rap artist and tell them, I want them to take. I want them to take a political issue, like or a race issue, and fucking rap about it. Eminem yeah. does it all the time, but he's white, so nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes he, he sometimes he raps about it, and I get bored, and I change the song. Dude, <laughs> what if you have Eminem rapping about segregation in the fifties and sixties? I wonder what he could do with that. I'm sure shit. he could do a good job. That would be fucking. Actually, ridiculous. you know what? Before gangster rap took over, we used to have a lot of rappers that did that. No, but was, but not with t- not with today's creativity. I'm sure there's some. Oh, immortal technique. Is he still around? 
And Will Technique raps like that. Does he? Yeah. And is it like that 90s style, though? Or is it? I mean, he talks about, it's hard. He talks about oppression and all sorts of shit. Does he have good wordplay? Yeah, he'll look him up. He's really good. Is he? Nice. He's really good. Fuck yeah. about raping and killing his homeboy. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to have you sit outside for the rest of the show, sir. Our sound man likes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently hey, about raping and killing. So we've, we've done a lot, a lot of talking about racial stuff this week because I don't know. This guy feels like a racial radical. You know, he's like, he's like one of those light white liberals that fucking shows up. Yeah. I was there in the sixties. You, <laughs> are you, you were looking at him. Were you talking about me? I'm talking about you. Oh, okay. I so, thought, so what, I mean, so we're going to go on something light because we haven't gone on something light in some, a while. Something, something white? Light. Oh, sorry. I just. I mean, because I was looking through Cosmo. Pause. <laughs> again, and uh, again, I came up with the. Uh, I I saw this list of texts that women hate. I, there was a list of nine, but I, I just came out. I just grabbed four of them real quick. Now, there's different types of text, and I didn't know. I mean, text has been broken down into types, but they they definitely I definitely like, fall like, within them. Like men text and women yeah. text. Or it's just a, a, just the type of text in general, gender like uh, like text? a woman like a woman would say the double text when she has to keep sending you messages. Wait to, wait, to wait, get, wait wait when she has to keep sending when you she, messages when she continues when she's a fucking nut basket and decides <laughs> to just text you endlessly <laughs> when she sends you messages <laughs> wanting a response. Which I'm not gonna lie, I you know I've been a little lonely lately. I might be okay with that about now. A little obsessiveness. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is you later? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, 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 yeah. Is, is it later yet? <laughs> later. Is it later yet? Wait. Is it later yet? Now, I, I know I've probably brought it up on the show. I, I've dated some girls like that where you're out hanging out in the, in the middle of hang, not at the end, not at the end of the date, not at the end of hanging out, in the middle of fucking hanging out. They're making plans for the next two or three times you want to hang out. That's pretty, it's pretty optimistic. Right. And I mean, I mean, it depends on how de- detailed the plans are. I mean, because if you're talking plans or reservations, then I, I, I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical because I don't really want to make reservations th- two, three dates down the road. That's what I mean. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm yeah. Saying, like, you know, if you're putting your credit card down so we can eat at the melting pot, <laughs> then you know, I, then maybe, maybe that's not, maybe that's not where I want, where I want to be. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Via Something te- could come up. I can't do that via text either. Like, oh hey, you still want to hang out today? Yeah, that's fine. Oh okay. Well, do you want to hang out today? And what about tomorrow and Thursday? Uh, mm, I can't do that. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not good. Right. Well, I mean, speaking of going out to eat, mm-hmm. there's the foodie text. It's it's um, it's a replacement for the booty call. It's the foodie text. I okay. Somebody that just hit you up. Hey, you want to go eat? <laughs> I think that actually works between dudes. Like, yo, hey, you want to go? You want to go to Five Guys? Yeah, I go Five Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see. Yeah, that. you want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings? The yeah. the only quirk I have with that is when you become the free food guy. Like, like the girl, you know, chicks only hit you up like once or twice a month because you're the free food guy. Like, oh, every time I hang out with him, he takes me somewhere nice. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> I, I I don't get down like that. <laughs> Ass, gas, grass, cash. <laughs> Nobody rides for free. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like, Saying, it's family. like that, SpongeBob, that SpongeBob meme photo where you've hung out with this chick a couple times, taking her, you know, a few dates. She ain't let you hit it yet, and you happen to glance at her phone, and you come up, and you're under free food guy in her phone. Yeah, it just, it doesn't, I, I can't get with that. If you're only fucking texting me to hang out and go eat, we got a problem. Because, I mean, I and I talk about this every week. My non-smoking, non-drinking pact that I'm on right now with my brother. Yeah. You cannot believe how many bitches have fallen off. And, yes, I'm calling you bitches because we don't talk anymore because I'm not drinking. Because <laughs> they, li- they don't listen to the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. No, I don't I don't get any fucking texts anymore like, oh, hey, you know, let's let's go fucking hang out. Nah. Because they're like, oh, he ain't, you know, he ain't drinking. He's not fucking going to eat fast food, shit like that. I ain't fucking with him. You'd be surprised how many people just fucking fall out of your life when you're not drinking. Wow. they just like, yep. Oh, hey, because I can only stand you when I'm fucking drinking. See? There you go. There are, there are, there are, there are plenty of people I can only stand when I'm fucking <laughs> drinking. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, same here. Like the, like the I, I can say that- over the course of my life, I've ended relationships because I have stopped drinking and I can't fucking stand you. <laughs> Fuck, I can't stand you. Fuck. 
<laughs> no, but that, that's when you... One more time. <laughs> fuck, I can't stand your ass. I'm oh, fucking sober. <laughs> fuck. But that, anyway. But that's where the rain check text comes in. When you're not drinking and you're like, hey, uh, let, me, uh, let, let me get you down the road. You know, if I hit you, if we're supposed to hang out Tuesday night, and I hit you at 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon and say, hey, can we try it later next week? Yeah. How far do you let a rain check carry over? See, I I give them I give them one week, one week to redeem. I I well no I take that back. If you if you rain check and give me plans during that rain check text, like a hey, you know Tuesday's not gonna work. How about next Tuesday, or how about you know this weekend something like that? Yeah. Okay, I'm with it. But if you give me that ambiguous rain check text, nah, I'm out of there. Oh, uh, like let's try some other time. Uh, no, not even that. Like, I oh, mean, because that's a real, that's a real fuck your life. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, that's, that's, uh, that's a fucking end all be we, all. We should try right again some other time. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, even video games are warmer than that. <laughs> 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 if bitch, I, that bitch stole my quarters. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we'll call it the Tuesday text. If I get the Tuesday text and you're like, oh, hey, today isn't going to work. Sorry. And you just leave it. Nah, I'm I'm out of there. If you give me that, oh, we should try again some other time. You can go fucking fuck yourself. Like I, I no. If, if you give me the some other time, no sir. Some other, hey, some other time. Yeah, that that's when I'd have to hit him. I'd have to hit him with the nah. Why don't we just call it? Yeah, that's yeah. It. Let's just call it. Fuck it. Because I I've been there. I've I've been there. I have been the fucking Tuesday boy. In life, like literally, I I told you, me me and this girl way back when, we had a mutual agreement. She was not ready for a relationship. She was like, "Hey, you want a friends with benefits?" After a year and a half of that shit, she was like, "Hey, I like you," and I was like, "Nah, I've been your Tuesday boy for a year and a half." And Tuesday boy, if you guys don't fucking get it, we hung out every Tuesday. I got that, a schedule. Yeah, there you go. And after that, she was like, "Hey, you know, I want." I want to I want to put all my side dudes down and be with you. I was like, okay, I can't just flip the switch from Tuesday boy. Because she think of a more attractive way to say, it, I want to put all my side dudes. <laughs> well, she I, didn't fucking I mean, say it. I'm just <laughs> I'm saying what she meant. That's all I'm saying. Just, oh wow. She's like I mean, she's that, like I want to release just, all these other dicks and fucking just. I mean, that's the way you made it sound. I just that, like yeah. because that's I, the way. That's I, the way. I, she's, she's like, I gotta pull this dick out of my mouth so I can tell you I just want to be with that, you. That's the way fucking, dude, that's what bitches mean. Okay, you know goddamn well they're not sitting there like, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna adjust my work and school schedule to fit this guy into my life. No, they're like, oh, God, okay, do I want to put down these other dicks for this one dick? Is that what I want to do? I mean, she got a, it was, it's been going up on a Tuesday for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, hey, sometimes you start a job part time and then they work you in a full time. Yeah. That, that <laughs> no, guy, I get it. I that, get it. But the, they, the host but of they, no name is a good fucking worker. But Shows they, up every Tuesday on time. But they give you, but they give you fucking time. <laughs> they give you time frames. Hey, they you, don't, they don't just say, they don't just say, Hey, oh, so you're working fucking part time. And then the next day go, hey, full time position you now or it, never. No, now you fucking with your own argument because you said it was a year. No, no, I'm just giving you an example. I'm giving you an example. I'm After you a, a year, if you show up every t on time, right, on, for a year and do the job well, right. Hey, they're gonna ask you if you want to do full time. Yeah, no, no matter where you work. No, all I'm saying though is Even they, they give you, they give you notice, like, hey, we got a full time position coming up. <laughs> are you are you available for that? That full -time was position? your fucking notice when she said yes. I'm gonna Brexit all my dick. <laughs> right, but. The next day, you can't come to me the next day and be like, so do you accept this fucking job or not? You got to give me like at least a week to be like, mm, okay, do you know? Oh, you need to go home and talk it over with your family? Yes. There you go. <laughs> like this is, this is like relocating to fucking Washington DC. You can't just be like, well, I'm out. No. Damn, damn, I went to high school here. I really would hate to leave. <laughs> no. I got to fuck it. If I relocate, I got to sell my house. I might have to fucking sell my cars. I might need to get some relocation fees. Who the fuck knows? You can't just have me fucking line out my life overnight and be like, hey, uh, so you made that decision yet or what? You should, you should really give her props because she probably went out on a limb because that she put her heart into it. She wants it. To no, no. You know what? No, all. you know what she did? 
She ga- <laughs> she gave me she gave me the fucking option, and uh, the next week asked me again, and I was like, you know what? I'm just not there yet. Just give give us some time to hang out and actually conversate and get to know each other. You know what she did? Started dating some other dude. So she didn't really fucking break off. Nothing. Get a, uh, get a, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She did not actually fucking follow through with whatever she said she did. And now, and now, I know, I know what some of you stupid plot bags are fucking thinking. I know what you're thinking. Did oh. this happen recently? Because it seems really fresh. No, I, no, I just love this. It fu- feels like a fresh. Move. I love this fucking story. Oh, it, it'll always be oh so fresh. <laughs> Boom! Oh. <laughs> this little story drew her blood on blood on the floor telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the bitch got me. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean, back I mean, in I mean, my day, yeah. Because your bitch here is pretty high today, so I'm like, y- y- there's obviously, obviously, some woman in your life that's not doing you right. <laughs> 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 Have you noticed, Shaq? I mean, you could say he's been pretty anti bitch today. I'm anti bitch all the time. No, not like this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, not like this? Not like this. <laughs> I really, I feel like that, <laughs> that story, I'll tell you, that story, I, I'm surprised you didn't track any blood in, cause that story sounded so fucking brand new. Like right here, like I just got off the phone with her. <laughs> I just saw pictures of her on Instagram with her new boyfriend. You, you thought I went to go get coffee. I was just fucking salting my wounds outside in the truck. Wow, that's yeah. too bad, man. <laughs> You know, so, what? So, you know what? Uh, fuck so, you both. Fuck you both. You can suck a dick. You can suck his dick. I'm going to get the fuck out of here because you guys are assholes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You got it all out? Uh, yeah. You got it all I, out? I feel better. You got Why are you out? touching me? That's fucking weird. <laughs> we Jack just reached hey, over. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we, don't touch, we don't touch on the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I mean, there's the two main rules. There's where the are the where are the rules? No touching and no sound. Jesus no, fucking Christ! No, there's the two main rules. We don't talk about rape. We don't talk about cancer. There's like some sub rules, and one of them <laughs> <laughs> is no, no touch. If you have a dick, don't touch me. That's the, the, that's one of the sub rules. There's just no touching. I don't know when we started it, but it's always been that way. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Hey, sound man, cue up the music. <laughs> this has been the fucking hype podcast epic episode of the week because we only do one. I am the host with no name. I'm DJ Oso Fresh. You can hit us up 442-999-HYPE. Or on Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. Oh, you got it. You want to hit us up on Twitter? It's at the hype podcast. Or you can hit us up on Instagram, the gram at the hype podcast. Or you can go to the hype podcast.com. Check out all our episodes. We this is ninety nine point five. Or you can shoot Oso oh Fresh a one word text on his iPhone Messenger. That would be nice to you. That would be really <laughs> nice of you to hit me up with a one word text. You are you're the king of one word texts. Fuck you. Yeah, I am. Also, I'll be over at noon. Okay. It's like, okay, yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's it. What else was I to say? Yes, noon would be fine. That would be very good for noon, me. Noon is an adequate time for you to arrive at my establishment. So, yeah, it's after the show. I really didn't have much to say, but this motherfucker really had his heart on his shoulder or his sleeve or something or on his toe when I stepped on it or something because his heart just poured out in this podcast. And you know what? Me and fucking Shaq are going to pray for you that you find some healing and some forgiveness because there's something seriously wrong between you and some woman in your life. And that's coming straight from the Hype Podcast. Bye, Felicia.